Hi everybody, welcome to the cooking demo. Miss Meg here and we're gonna make two dishes for the episode of May. One dish is going to be a zesty shrimp and avocado salad and that will be coming up just a little bit later. But the first dish I'm gonna demonstrate is chocolate chip loaf, which is a great dessert to have any time of the day. And now with it being summertime almost here, definitely is a great way to do it. So in this bowl right here, I have some melted butter. And in this bowl, we have all of our dry ingredients. There is flour, sugar, salt, and baking powder. So it's about uh, one and a half cups of flour, uh, three quarters of a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that with my spatula. All right, it's looking good. All right, looking good with this. So this right here, melted butter. And you, you, you can use room temperature butter if you are doing it with a uh, hand mixer or stand mixer, but I'm gonna do it actually manually for you today. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the dry ingredients to the butter. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Took that aside there. I'm gonna go ahead and mix, mix this up. So it gets like a nice clean batter. Looking good. All right. Okay, we're at a good stance here right now. Okay, great. All right, now I'm gonna add two eggs. carton here. Little bowl there. Mix this in. Make sure it's well incorporated. Everybody gets a little bit of everything. We want everybody to get a little bit of everything. Get it nice, well mixed. Perfect. Let me move this out of the way. We will add that later. One more egg. Perfect. Flop. Love that sound. Loved that sound when I was a kid. Loved it. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna make that up. Mix this and make it up. It's looking really good so far. Excellent. Okay. All right, so we're looking good. Then about a half a cup of milk. So I'm gonna use a coconut creamer for this one because uh, those of you that are um, highly sensitive to dairy such as myself or have any other allergies whatsoever I'm also going to give this a good shake wouldn't hurt wouldn't hurt to give this a good shake about a half a cup of milk And then if it comes out like not the consistency that you want or not, you know, fully incorporating, you know, you can always add more, add more milk. And then this recipe also requires vanilla extract. Um, the milk is actually vanilla flavored. So I am actually going to skip that, but you want about a half teaspoon of vanilla extract in this. Okay. Perfect. 
So now we got our chocolate chips, the best part. Awesome. Tie your thing. Perfect. And just fold them in. I love chocolate. I mean, I am a chocoholic. Um, I grew up with chocolate, chocolate chip cookies, chocolate chip muffins, um, chocolate chip banana bread is very, very good. Or one of my all-time favorites from the Penzi's cookbook is applesauce loaf with some chocolate, mini chocolate chips in it. And oh my God, it is delicious. So let's, our bear is pretty much almost done. Everything is incorporated. This is what it looks like. Very nice, huh? So I'm gonna take my nine, nine by five uh, loaf pan. It's a uh, grease and lined with parchment paper. And I'm just gonna scoop this in. Scoop this in a bit, yeah. I'll, I'm gonna turn so you can still see me too. Scoop this in. Yeah, if it is a little bit stiff, you can add more milk to the recipe, but this consistency that I have right here, this, this, this is what you're looking for. So, we want it to bake evenly, so we definitely want to see this. So I'm gonna put this the bowl down, and I'm just gonna smooth this out a little bit with my scraper. And you can use a rubber scraper, you can use a wooden spoon, a wooden scraper, which is actually my all-time favorite tool. So put this in. So now I already preheated the oven to 350. We're gonna put it out around, a, the recipe says between 45 to 55 minutes. So I'm gonna put this in for about 45 minutes. And uh, while that is baking, I'm gonna go ahead and demo the zesty shrimp and avocado salad. And we'll definitely get to taste both at the end. So I'll be right back. Hi, welcome back. Now let's do the zesty shrimp and avocado salad. So right in this bowl here, I have some chopped up um, cooked shrimp and some red onion in there. And then the next ingredient I'm gonna add is fresh pico de gallo. It's a beautiful thing. It's tomatoes, cilantro, and tons of great stuff. So that's that. And then before we add the um, vinaigrette, I just want to demonstrate. This lovely piece of produce right here is called an avocado. And I'm gonna, just gonna go ahead and cut this open so you guys can see how amazing this looks. Be very, very careful, watch your fingers. Just what you do is you just go around the uh, avocado You don't have to cut it all the way through because you will get the seed. And then you just meet at the starting point here. I lost my spot. There you go. I can. I found it. When, once you get lost, the beauty of an avocado is once you get lost, you can always find it. I'm perfect. I'm almost there. Almost meet it. Perfect. So I'm going to give this a nice twist. There we go. There we go. Come on. You can do it. Ah. Oh. There we go, perfect. And this is an inside of an avocado and it's amazing. So a creative way to get the seed, there's, two, there's a few ways you can get it out. One is you just use a spoon and scoop it out or this neat little trick. Now be very careful, do not try this unless you, are, unless you have some supervision with you if you're a kid. You're gonna take a knife and just hit the seed, and you're gonna twist. Doesn't seem to be one of twisting here. Uh, it's okay, it doesn't seem to be working. So I'm just gonna get it out there. And then what I'm gonna do is to dice the slices up. I'm going to run my knife through the middle. Please watch your fingers. And then just run it straight across. And then you have a perfect diced avocado. Perfect. 
perfect. And then scoop it out. Yeah, this one's not really quite, not as ripe as I hoped, but that's okay. Still gonna use it anyway and put it right in my salad here. There we go, I'm gonna peel this back. But you can use a spoon, I can't, uh, not gonna be asking, you know what, I might grab, go ahead and grab my spoon here. I have, a, have my spoon from before. All right, so I will be right back and get my spoon. Okay, get my spoon, just go up here. Perfect, and just scoop it out. And there you got your diced avocados. Break it up, break it up. Yeah. And I will do scoop out the seed and do the next one. And then we'll get be ready to add the vinaigrette. And I picked this dish because it's a perfect dish to welcome the summertime. During the summer, you definitely want to eat something that's like clean and light and full of flavor. And that's exactly what this dish is. Clean, light, and full of flavor. Lots and lots of flavor. And again, doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't always go the way you want it to sometimes, but... You know, cooking is also a good thing when you have a theater background like myself. Things don't always go to plan. You improvise. And that, I think, is even more fun than following the script. So, now, I just want to share a few couple tidbits with you. Side notes here while I'm breaking up this avocado. I just want to let every one of you know that I miss every single one of you and I wish I could do this demo live for you. Hopefully with some something coming soon, you know, uh, Governor Cuomo for some cases um, did lift and um, modify the mask mandate, which is very, very good news. But I just want to friendly remind everybody that while you are in the libraries, you are still required to wear your masks. So just a heads up there, but hopefully very, very soon that will change. And, and I'm very, very happy that we're slowly getting back to normal. And again, we'll have some fun summer programs for you as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and scoop the seed out. There we go. There we go. Caught it. I caught it. Perfect. Same thing. Run your knife through. Parallel lines. Not going to show because I'm afraid I'm going to cut myself here. Don't want blood all over everywhere. And then just run it through again. The other side. I'm okay. I'm okay. You can get the pieces falling out. And like I said, this I thought this avocado would be a lot ripe, more riper, but can't always do. Got to work with what you have. Yeah, luckily I caught it, so. All right, this way. Awesome. And you want to do a whole avocado for this recipe. So avocado is amazing and delicious. And a good source of omega-3s. My mother will be very happy about that. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And it's so pretty. I love dishes that are so colorful and pretty. Um, I'll show you. This is how it looks like right now. Oh. Look at it. Awesome. This is so pretty. Yeah, 
that. So I'm gonna scoop out the rest of this avocado here. Next time I'll get a much riper avocado. But that's okay. I always found out in cooking, especially if you're cooking for like your family or your husband or just even your friends, they'll still love you anyway. The fact that you took the time out of your day just to make something for them, it's just enough. So I'm going to put all this aside here. We're all set with that. Now, this is my favorite life hack of all time. Take a bottle, and this is going to be the vinaigrette. And in this vinaigrette, we have some lime juice, some red onion, a little bit of rice wine vinegar. You can get this at Wegmans or any grocery store. Rice wine vinegar and some olive oil. And then my favorite life hack to make dressing, shake it, 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 shake it. It's nice, well blended and combined. And look at this. You have vinaigrette. So I'm going to quickly grab some utensils here. Perfect. And we're going to give this, I'm going to swirl this around a little bit. We're going to swirl this around. Yeah, put the whole thing in. It's all going to get mixed in. Perfect. And one fun fact about avocados. My favorite thing about them is the nice green color that they have inside. But if you leave avocados at room temperature open, they oxidize and turn brown. The, the way to prevent avocados to turn brown after they open, we're gonna give this a nice gentle toss. Perfect. Oh my God, it's looking perfect. Pretty and perfect. Put those there. And we have a nice, nice salad here. Perfect. So, when we come back, I am the bread's gonna come out of the oven, and I'm gonna give both the salad and the um, bread a nice taste. So I will be back. Hi, welcome back. We are done with the cooking down. So now it's my favorite part. We get to taste everything we made. So in this cup is the zesty shrimp and avocado salad. Give this a nice taste. Mmm. The meanness of the shrimp. The creaminess from the avocado. Mmm. And the, and the zesty and acid from the uh, vinaigrette just really, really makes this dish. Mm. So good, I had to have one less bite. And then now, the chocolate chip bread. Let's give this a taste. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Rule number one, you never talk with your mouth full. But, oh my gosh, the, the chocolatiness from the chips, the crumbliness of the cake, nice and warm too. Oh, definitely a perfect, perfect loaf to have for a rainy day. So, thank you again for joining me for the May cooking demo. Uh, be sure to stay tuned for the month of June where I serve up another cool bunch of recipes and... 
We are fully back open, and we're looking forward to seeing you at the library. Have a great day, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.